Seeing as the second season of The Punisher will be releasing on Netflix very soon, followed by its cancellation shortly thereafter, I guarantee it, let's take a look at the comic book origins of the main antagonist, who survived his brutal fight with Frank Castle at the end of the first season, Billy Russo, who will now fully become the nightmarish Jigsaw, at least that's what I assume will happen, though from what I've seen of set photos, his appearance looks very underwhelming but I guess we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Jigsaw was created by writer Len Wein and artist Ross Andrew, and debuted among the pages of The Amazing Spider-Man No. 162 in November of 1976. He would take Spider-Man hostage for a public execution in the hopes of luring out the Punisher, revealing to the reader his horrifying face and the fact that he had once been a two-bit punk before the Punisher threw him head first into a plate glass window. With the help of Nightcrawler, Spider-Man manages to escape, then all three heroes take it to Jigsaw's goons. Jigsaw hijacks a fire truck and uses its powerful water hose to attack Spider-Man, but gets tangled up in it when it gets caught under the truck's tire. Though Jigsaw's first appearance was fairly basic, his vendetta against the Punisher would be fleshed out in later appearances, and reach whole new levels of personal. In the Punisher's 1986 series, Jigsaw ran Rikers Island Prison from the inside while Frank Castle was locked in there with him. He had poisoned him before, which had caused Castle to lose control. Because of it, Punisher threatens to finish Jigsaw off once and for all. As his thugs attack Castle, Jigsaw reminds them to leave his face alone, that's for him to damage as revenge. Before Jigsaw can slice up Punisher's face with a broken bottle, Castle breaks free and crushes it within Jigsaw's hand. In The Punisher Vol. 2 No. 35, Jigsaw reappears and is working under the villain Samuel Smith, known as the Rev, an atheist who found he had the power to heal and would create a cult-like following known as the Church of the Saved. In issue number 38, Jigsaw would cut up the face of an unconscious Punisher, leaving him just as scarred as the villain. In Venezuela, Jigsaw has his face healed by the Rev and pursues his old enemy, armed to a T. The Punisher defeats him though and uses a spiked plant to destroy Jigsaw's face once more. It wasn't until the 1994 limited series, Punisher Year One, that we finally got to witness this character's full backstory, or at least a larger chunk of it. Jigsaw used to be a member of the Italian mob named Billy Russo, who garnered the nickname The Butte due to his dashing good looks. After the botched execution that left Castle's family dead, he was hired to clean up all the loose ends, even Castle himself. Russo tries to kill Castle at his home by planting a bomb. Unfortunately, Castle survives and tracks him down to a Magia nightclub. As the police arrive, the two look out the window and Castle makes Russo look at his reflection. He then kicks him out the window as the glass cuts his face, and if you thought one was enough, Russo falls through a second window down below. Say goodbye to that pretty face. Jigsaw as a character is definitely one of the more darker and disturbing villains found within Marvel Comics, usually misbelieved to be kid friendly and colorful all the time by the mainstream audience. I don't think I've ever seen a grudge match between a hero and villain reach levels of violence quite like this. The lengths these two go to utterly destroy each other is unbelievable. Ever since the Punisher disfigured the face of Billy Russo, taking away his charming features, he has made it his mission to ruin the life of Frank Castle, and in most cases, disfigure him in return, or simply kill him, whatever works. I have always noticed similarities between Marvel's Jigsaw and the likes of Two-Face from Batman due to their disfigurements completely altering their lives and transforming them into entirely different people in many ways. I think it goes without saying that Jigsaw borrows some elements from Leatherface too, with his grotesque appearance. It can give you nightmares, especially when Punisher makes it his mission to destroy it even further. Good God! When Billy Russo was known as the Butte, he was calm, controlled, an expert strategist and highly charismatic as a criminal leader and underboss. After his face was scarred by the Punisher, he lost his mind and became fixated on revenge against the anti-hero. At one point, he even dressed up as him in the hopes of framing his adversary. His costume even featured a Punisher skull with stitched up features, just like him. 
Due to his unorthodox and unpredictable approach, Jigsaw is hard to read and nearly impossible to anticipate. He's much like the Joker in that sense. He loves inflicting pain on others, and finds some sort of sick enjoyment in it, and if that person happens to be Frank Castle, it must be his lucky day. Out of all the villains the Punisher has faced over the years, none have been more memorable than Jigsaw, in my opinion. The two are destined to kill each other. What are your thoughts on Jigsaw? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, what do you think of the MCU's version of the character? Do you think Season 2 will be a satisfying payoff to everything set up in Season 1, or should we be worried? As always, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this in the future, and I will see all of you in the next one. Take care.